for a lot of us it was very hard for me in the beginning just to find things that i can snack on you know when i just didn't have a taste for a meal i just wanted something to snack on something to nibble on or you know most of our guilty pleasures dessert after our meal so i got diagnosed in 2020 with girl in the beginning it was very hard for me to find things to snack on because i feared food and you know over time i have since then added a lot of things to my diet and also a lot of snacks i know pre-gird a lot of us probably was you know we would have ice cream chocolate of course those things we cannot have we cannot have dairy products we cannot have chocolate you know that's the main thing that they say is a no-no when it comes to gird so i have found things to substitute that taste uh you know if i have a craving for something i found things to substitute that i tried to fit everything in this video but i didn't want to make it too long so just the main things that i made have on a day-to-day -day basis i make sure to add into this video um so yeah, I just want to share with you all the things that I snack on. Uh, I know some things uh, may give other people triggers that may not give me triggers. You know, if you eat it and you get that certain body ache or fatigue and uh, I know vice versa. So I just want to share with you the things that I snack on on the day to day. So yeah. First up, chicken and dumplings. These mini wontons are actually great. They're really good. They have chicken and vegetables in the inside of them. On the back, they tell you to either put it in a pan, but you can't do that because we can't have oil nor butter. Microwave or boil them. Of course, I put them in the air fry for the extra golden crisp at 11 minutes, 400 degrees. And on the side, I have sweet and sour sauce for my dipping sauce, and they're good. They're so delicious. They're my favorite go-to snack. I have them all the time. Honey golden chicken, AKA my hot wings. Well, my honey golden wings, at least I like to think so. I use the chicken inside of the sweet and sour chicken bag that I buy. I put them in the air fryer. Of course, I put everything in the air fryer because I love the extra crisp. I'm gonna use honey mustard sauce and honey. I suggest you not put it in the bowl. It didn't mix well. I put turmeric on top just to add into the seasoning with the mix. It didn't mix well. I opted out just to put it directly in the frying pan and let the heat mix it. And this is what I got. This is my finished product. Celery and carrots on the side and I'm good to go. A turkey sandwich, of course, the easy go-to for a snack. Um, I put my bread in the air fryer. Everything goes in the air fryer because I like just the extra crisp at 10 minutes, 250 degrees. I find that this bread gives me no trigger. I find that this bread gives me no fatigue. So once I learned that, I continue to buy this bread. It's organic. It's whole grains with seeds. Uh, it's made by Arnold. It's the brand. Uh, it's really good. Uh, the turkey uh, daily, the turkey uh, that I'm using is uh, by Simple uh, Truth Organic. It does me good. It's the best uh, turkey deli that I've had. It gives me uh, no type of reaction, no type of triggers. And of course, spinach is always my go-to lettuce type. Uh, I usually like to have the carrots that I cut out like pickles to put on my sandwich because we can't have pickles. But they didn't have them, so I'm just going to put like my carrots on the side. Of course, my honey mustard sauce on top of my turkey sandwich because I use honey mustard sauce or either honey... Uh, or honey for everything that's my go-to seasoning just to give it a taste and this is how the bread looks up close it is very good y'all and it gives me like no triggers and just just like an easy go-to snack just a turkey sandwich raw almonds just raw almonds by simple truth and these are the organic or either i get the plain version they didn't have it so i got the organic handful of these and i'm good they're like pringles to me once you pop the fun don't stop they are really good grapes now we're limited to our fruit choices but i find that the green grapes does me the best uh i've dabbled in uh red and uh the purple grapes but green does me the best so i try to stick to that just a bowl full is enough watermelon my favorite i try to keep it in the house whether it's whole the slice or the cut up ones i keep watermelon in my refrigerator it's always a good go-to snack cake donut my guilty pleasure y'all when i found that these didn't give me much reaction they do give me some but not much 
I keep them in the house. I try to eat no more than two, but sometimes I do overindulge because they are really good. They're they're my the sweetness that I couldn't have and that I learned that I could have. So I overindulge in them a lot. So when I do eat them, I try to drink carrot ginger juice with my turmeric on the side just for the aches and pains because I know it's gonna come later. But these are really good, y'all. Just plain cake donuts, yes. Last but not least, strawberry banana smoothie. I put this in the freezer to get a chill to it, get a couple ice chunks in it. Sometimes I put it in a bowl if it freezes enough. Today I'm gonna put it in a cup, cut up me a couple of strawberries. Sometimes I might even put almonds in it, but I'm gonna leave the almonds out today. It is a good meal substitute. Uh, I get full on it real quickly, so sometimes I just have this and not eat it all, and it's very good, it's very delicious, and it doesn't give me much trigger.